frown So upon. you're actually better. I'm better with less sleep. If you stay awake, so I should be in Delta. Today, we are looking at the relationship between sleep and shooting performance. You may carry a gun in a professional capacity, law enforcement, military, contract, or something like that. Or you might simply be a responsible armed citizen. But statistically, we are getting less and less sleep as Americans. And I wanna know how much lack of sleep is impacting your shooting. And the way that we're gonna test that is I'm gonna stay up all freaking night and we're gonna see how I do. Now, I know what you're thinking, Jake, this is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. You can't do that safely, but we can. You'll notice uh, we are not exactly out in the desert. No live rounds will be with us today. So what we're gonna be doing is we're using the Mantis Laser Academy. Basically how this thing works, you do have a real gun, but you have a unloaded, right? Unloaded real gun. You drop their little laser thing, thingamajig here into your barrel. And at that point, you can start laying it down. And then we can record on their app and show actually your times and your accuracy and get scores and all that kind of stuff. So this is how we will be conducting the experiment. Um, obviously, do not try this with live rounds. No, this video is not brought to you by Mantis. It's just the only way that we can safely bring you a video like that. And with that said, let's see how I stack up awake, unsleep deprived. Okay guys, so we're gonna be doing six uh, drills at each stage of sleep deprivation. Chris will be joining us in the video soon. He hasn't gotten into town yet. So basically right now is the day before we sort of like film the bulk of this video. So right now, hey, I've been awake since six o'clock cause I'm not a lazy piece of shit. Um, and it is currently 11 a.m., right? So I've been awake for like five hours or something like that. Um, so I'm good to go. I've had caffeine worked out, good to go. I'm about as fresh as I could possibly be. We're gonna be shooting um, six different drills. We're gonna be starting with a build drill hill here. And um, just so you guys understand, I'm about seven yards away from the target, okay? But the target is obviously significantly reduced from a normal IPSC target. So I'm just gonna estimate this. I'm at the equivalent of about 25 meters that I'm shooting. So it, these are actually pretty um, difficult ranges we're shooting at. And the gun that I'm gonna be running the whole video because of the nature of the Laser Academy thing, really you could, on a striker fire gun or in 1911, you could only run one round, right? Because the, the striker would drop or the hammer would drop and then you're like, okay, cool, like you can't do a build drill. So you kind of have to do this to do it well with a double action gun. So I'm using the Beretta 92 GTS. They just came out with this. I've got like a small love affair with this gun and the double action. And so basically I have to run this entire sequence of everything over the next 24 hours, double action only. So keep this in mind, I'm running double action only at we're gonna call it roughly 25 meters. So that is your baseline. Okay guys, we'll be on with the video, but you are gonna uh, want to hear this. So one of our sponsors, Firearms Legal Protection, AKA FLP, um, are doing definitely the coolest giveaway we've ever done on the channel. So here's the nuts and bolts of it. We are doing a Patreon only class uh, this September in Columbus, Georgia with HK and James Williamson. The, class date is uh, September 13th and 14th, again, in Columbus, Georgia. So this is a private two-day MP5 operators class hosted by James Williamson of Tufel Hund Tactical. And James, I know you're getting impressed with how well I'm pronouncing that these days. Um, it is also like being sort of hosted, if you will, by HK. Uh, myself and Chris will be there. So, I mean, like, this is pretty cool like pretty 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 cool so um basically we're gonna do on the night we arrive we'll do, be doing a tour of the gray room so you guys can get your photos with uh you know mp7s and g36s and and all that kind of fun jazz the deal is this the class filled up very quickly on patreon like almost instantly but we reserved one spot for a giveaway so basically flp is going to be paying for your class registration and your ammo for the class travel fees you know hotel flight or gas or whatever it is that's on you you know food you figure all that kind of stuff out. But in terms of like your class, hey, you're getting a free spot to the class. And if you're like, that sounds really cool, but I don't have an MP5 to run, don't worry. We got that covered. We're gonna get you a loner gun. Actually, HK is. So remember that next time you hear someone say HK hates us. No, they don't. They're supplying a bunch of our students with guns for the class. So here's how you enter. 
some of you are already in it. So basically anyone who has used our code to sign up for FLP, which is basically self-defense insurance, right? Uh, the code is 1911. Anyone who used that code to sign up for FLP and is currently a member, you are already in the running for this giveaway. Anyone else, if you would like to enter, you just need to sign up for either an FLP membership or their little like prepaid plan. It's like 50 bucks for three months of prepaid membership, I, I believe. Um, and again, you use the code 1911 to do that. We'll have a link down in the video description how you guys can do that. So basically this will run um, through July 5th, okay? And then the week of July 8th, we will randomly draw a winner, either uh, probably either myself or FLP will reach out, let you know you won, you gotta confirm and all that kind of stuff and we'll get you set up. It's a pretty spectacular giveaway. Sorry for the long pitch here, but I do think some of you guys are gonna be like, that's pretty sweet. And I would like to attend a private MP5 class with the, the group of uh, everyone just mentioned there. With that said, let the chaos begin. Nine, 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 seven. So total time, 4.8 seconds. Total score, 52. It looks like everything cleared A zone, couple on the line, but it actually looks like all A zone hits. Mozambique drill. Shoot his body, one of the hit. Nine, nine, 10. I think I heard a 10 on that headshot. Total time, 4.32. Total score, 28 and we can see our hits right there. So two clean center mass at the left edge of the head box. 24 hours from now, probably not gonna be so hot. Okay, this is the hostage rescue drill. I have a dicey track record with hostage rescue drills on the channel. I think I can only get better at it with less sleep. That would be the, the idea. Goldfinger, Goldfinger got her. Not today. Goldfinger. shots. I knew I missed the first one. I took a second one. First shot um, would be way high and left. Second shot, I think you always got to look at the upside in life. And the terrorist, his face is severely battered. Natalia lost her right ear and part of her right cheek um, in the process. So I think he's dead. I think she's definitely damaged, but alive. So would you rather be alive with a mangled face or dead? Because her alternative was dead. I did save her. I did also send her to the hospital though. All right, this is dot torture. So we got one inch, uh, I believe they're one inch circles, 10 of them. One, 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 one. Total score is eight. I missed two, although they look like they're on the line to me, but whatever, the laser knows best. Total time. 915. Overall, I'll take it dot torture. I mean, in most classes, you do this at like three, maybe five yards. You don't really push seven yards on this. So I'm actually uh, perfectly content with that. Okay, it's gonna be a one hour one on a nip -zip target. Dog, watch this. Watch this shit. First one, C zone. Second one, um, super clean on the actual reloads. So a total time. 5.15 total score, 16. Okay, everyone, well, here's how this is gonna go. Uh, round number six is a stage, right? So this is gonna be like a real life scenario. I'm gonna be in the kitchen, right? Just doing some dishes and scrubbing some shit down. Beep, the beep is shit just popped off. Set down your 409, not a sponsor of the show, but it's a multi-service 409. It's good stuff. Just, I don't, know, I don't have a link or anything to send you guys, but anyway, goes off, cool. Spin into the target. One, two, three, four, five, six. Take cover, right? Behind man's best friend. One, two. Hit him with a reload. Get to the door. Lay down another like, I'll try to do three. And then get the fuck out of Dodge. Just flee the scene, okay? It's not legal advice. I would, uh, you know, would never advise you to do that, but I'm just saying in this case, I'm getting the fuck out of here. So much grease from all the bacon. I hope no one breaks in. Six, six, nine, seven, seven, seven. Get down, fit, take cover. No, don't seven, run right in front of the bullet. Six. We go to the door. Oh no. Eight. 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 <sighs> oh, I took the last shot. I think I missed the last two. It's all clear. It's all clear. Come on back. Yeah. 
Oh clear, I killed him. So I have a clear left mash pattern here. I fired 12 total rounds, my score is 79. Good luck me recreating that 24 hours from now. Total time 23.3 seconds, not bad. Not bad at all, I don't think. All right, everyone, here's the deal. This video is a nightmare for me. I religiously get eight hours of sleep a night, like clockwork. I go to bed at the same time, I wake up at the same time. So we figured, oh, Chris could could be the sleep deprivation guy. The problem is he's really good at it and I really suck at it. So right now my main concern is how exactly I'm gonna get between the hours of 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. The only thing I know is the first stop is the airport for the big one. see how late the gym's open. Okay, at this point, it's 1.15 in the morning. Blau is asleep, and I've done my only two things I had to do. I went to the gym, and I built something with my hands. I did a construction project, um, and I got five hours until the sun comes up, so I have no idea what to do now. I've got supplies to make a ham sandwich. I don't know if I want to cash in that card yet. I think I want to wait until I get hungry and then make the ham sandwich, but TBD. All right, here we are the morning after, officially at 24 hours now. He was useless. Literally slept the entire night. Literally slept the entire night. Didn't keep, keep me company once. Snored, snored to add insult to injury. D just so you guys know, right now, I've been awake for 30 hours and 10 minutes. Just to give you a frame of reference here. Doing all right. He let us know at 30 hours and nine minutes also. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. It's, all, it's all good. Uh, so we'll be back uh, to shooting here momentarily. Um, another sponsor of today's video, that'd be Segera. Segera. What do you got today? Dude, I've gone back to the Emissary actually. Okay, right Been on. carrying a 19X, so got to distribute a little bit more weight and girth. So Emissary, the OG belt. Yeah. And guess what? Still works great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still does everything I need it to. 100%. What are you rocking today? Uh, light inner Velcro, that's kind of my um, go-to, you know? And that so, stacks with a like. battle wagon. Yep. Uh, what you got right behind you there. Okay. Um, they've got some other cool stuff. Peruse their site, okay? Peruse their site. They've got a lot more than just belts. Belts, I would say, would be the thing Segura is most known for, but they actually really have some cool, pretty, like, unique systems in, in terms of... Um, mag pouches and, and uh, you know, Molly stuff, and, you, you know, just all kinds of different systems. So play around on the site. Um, if you guys are looking for any other ways to support us, um, 1911 Syndicate's a real estate company. We've kind of paused from just saying, hey, anywhere in the US, like we got you covered. It's like, we, we're, we really want to like kind of focus in on a handful of cities, uh, Vegas, Dallas, uh, you know, Phoenix, Salt Lake, uh, Colorado Springs, yada, yada, yada. So there's a few, you guys can go to the website, 1911syndicate.com, scope that out. Um, Patreon also exists. Most of the Patreon donations go to feeding him. Um, so if you don't want to see a dog starve, I don't know. Patreon. Or if you do want to see a dog starve, then, then I don't. Mean, you're I guess. a horrible human being. <laughs> but if you want to see this dog not starve, Patreon. Okay. Papa, am I really going to starve? Might. Papa. Thanks for staying awake with me all night. That was <laughs> so thoughtful that you kept me entertained. Okay, it's the next morning. I'm not grumpy. I'm not grumpy. <laughs> I'm fine. You're convincing me. Are you? Okay, so I've currently been up uh, 25 hours and 45 minutes. Okay, okay. so I'm, I'm coming up at the 26 hour mark here. Um, so now we're gonna reshoot all the drills and just kind of stack times the time, see a little bit of accuracy, given that I'm being, uh, you know, more foggy now than I was yesterday. Chris can be RSO just to make sure before yep. I grab this gun, we're clear. I see. Yeah, that, yeah. Good to go. Safe. All right. We are in business. We got the previous times so we can compare. I gotta start the thing. Time was uh, 4.8 seconds. 
26 hour build drop. <laughs> Six, nine, six, nine, seven, seven. Well, I think we definitely did have some degradation from yesterday. All right, what was the total time on the initial? 4.8 seconds. Wow, okay, so I was dead on with the time, actually. Uh, what was the score on that one? Score was 52. Okay, so I dropped to a 44. You know, I mean, that can also just be a fluke, but it's like, I mean, that does make some sense though. Well, if you look at your previous one, they're all, it's you had line breaks, I mean, but it's, they're it's all A's. It's basically so. all A zone hit. Were you wearing your uh, your slides last time? No, or? just socks. Today I wanted oh, okay. to, I wanted to go more tactical. I was so. just wondering if that would throw off your time or not. Nine, seven. Eight. Might have thrown might have thrown that one. Through, Ooh, through the uh, line breaks, man. Through the full time four point three two seconds. Okay, so a, a smidge slower, like point you know, point one five of a second or something like that. Nothing to did we get what was the score? Total score twenty-eight. Okay, so I dropped to twenty-four. Yep. Um Okay. Yeah, and I mean that headshot's pretty Rough. Well, and look at first shot was 1.78 seconds, 2.05. Yeah. Then you had, your second shot was 0 0.76, 0 0.72, um, 1.7 for the third yeah. shot. Yeah, first so. shot's coming off slower though. Like initial reaction yep. time's definitely <clears throat> slower. But other than that, like very similar performance, so. This is an experiment, you know, it's not like we know how this is gonna go. That's Science. actually, that's really the point of it is to go, well, how does this go? Yeah, 10 rounds, you gotta stay focused the whole time. Right? Yep. One, 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 one. How did you feel about those? Let's see, I knew the last one I threw, I shot the target above it. What was total time before? 9.15. Okay, did that show 11 rounds though? This does show 11 rounds. Yeah, so for some reason, the Sometimes mana that systems glitch. like to just like give you an extra round for some reason. So it was 9.15, but you gotta take out that last round. And I don't know what that last round was. So really it's like probably knock off another half second yeah. from that, that last round. So it's probably closer to eight and a half versus okay. 9.24, call it. So faster before score was eight. eight. So it just counts, did you hit the circle or not? So I hit eight before I hit six this time. And truthfully, not even six, it's really five because this last hit there, number 10, was meant for yep the the number ten so it's like they counted it as a hit but in, truthfully I hit the wrong target so really it's five so I dropped from eight to five I'll set this up nice job nice job there <laughs> yeah no it was good no you totally tripped by the chair it's awesome um, <laughs> are you alright are you a little grumpy or no I'm cool oh. I'm just highlighting the you know he's sober he slept all night and he's tripping over big objects Let's right take a look at the feng shui there's yeah, nowhere dude. to flow it's an easy chair to trip over look at it dude it's like the yeah. shape of a dick there's and everything it's not the shape yeah. of a dick what are you Did talking you about you have to get out of the living room in like an oh shit situation <laughs> yeah this is your your one enemy here not good choice oh, good. don't worry about it set up the hostage Joel. so um operators would be in this situation all the time where they've been up all night, right, on missions, and now they have to go into the building and do the hostage rescue. Yeah. So really, this is just like that. <laughs> okay. This is the... Hey, I think that was actually a hey, fairly everyone. good shot. If I think... If it tracked where I was tracking. Oh. Oh, hey. I wasn't screen recording that. You weren't screen recording it? <laughs> I can you can't screen record that. <laughs> I can screen record it retroactively. You can, you'll still be able to see the hits. So you'll be able to see that's where the hit is, and then you'll see the after action. Smoke that motherfucker in the face. Yeah. So what was your time? Two six two. So your previous time was two four five with a total time of thirteen point five six seconds. Yeah, but I shot the hostage. You shot the hostage. So yeah. it's from. So you're actually better. I'm better if with less sleep. If you stay awake, so I should be in Delta. Yeah, uh, apparently they I need to. They make need some phone me. Calls. Yeah, they got to get me on the team. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make some phone calls. I'm about who that. they've been missing. We'll talk to Mike. <laughs> okay, Panone, make some calls, brother. We'll sort this out. Ridiculous. Okay. I mean, for people that don't know, right? Like you're pretty oh, uptight I'm, about your sleep. He very. gets eight hours a night, every night, like. 
Hundred uh, percent. I've never seen him stay up past that. It doesn't matter if we're out, you know, doing a travel trip or anything. Jake's always in bed at the same time, gets eight hours of sleep. So this is actually tougher for him than probably would be for me. So that's why we did it this way. There you go. All right. So this is gonna be a one R one. Yep. Seven. No, oh, that wasn't good. Seven. A couple of sevens. I flubbed the reload. Let's see here. I mean, it wasn't like atrocious, but I just kind of fumbled it. Um, so total time, 5.96. I mean, that's a slow 1R1, one obviously. So total time on this, 5.15. Your first shot was at 1.85, 1.8 on that one. Second shot on this was 3.3. Second shot on this was 4.16, but it's your accuracy that did you dirty on, yeah. on this one. So relatively same times. Minus that second round, right? Yeah. Well, so, score. I mean, technically, 16, I did score 14. higher. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I technically did did do better in the first time. Um, and I bet you, I could do that better if I ran that again. I just just for the sake of it, let's just do one. You just need to make just yourself just for better. argument. I I think I can actually do better than that. Seven. Nine. Okay. Seven, seven and a nine. Okay. Dog. Okay. Five, four, six total time. 5.15. Okay, so a little faster before, total score 16. 16. Okay, so I mean, I, I closed the gap a little bit. I mean, yeah. it was a better run. You had to put forth more effort though. Yes, Like I intently did. focus. I that. did intently focus okay. on this one. Okay. okay, and then to end it, you haven't seen the shooting stage yet. We based, we based it on real life. Uh, oh, real scenario? Scenario. Okay, I'm excited, teach me. Let's see what real life scenario you guys came up with. Thanks for that awesome light and just smacking me right in my sleep deprived eyeballs. <laughs> it's like, so, so, Jake, when he's sleep deprived, isn't, isn't like aggressively rude. He's passive aggressively <laughs> rude to a point that's just disrespectful. So. He just put a spotlight an he, inch from my he, cornea. We're filming, dude. Of course, I can't see the target now because all I see is a spot of light obscuring my vision. It's like an IDPA stage. How right. many times did you practice this this week? We literally made this up. Yesterday. You're a lion sack of shit. Get all the grease off of the stove. I mean, this is pretty realistic. Usually after you cook me dinner. I hear a threat at the door. Jesus Christ. Six, seven, seven, nine, six, seven. Stay down, dog. Nine, nine, seven. Seven. Nine. Fuck that guy. Damn, Break hey. into my house. That was pretty good, Jake. You got a couple good alphas, too. Uh, I think there's some decent things. Ironically, this might be better than my first round. Um, what, wow. was, what was the round count that it tracked? Did it actually get it correct? 12. Okay, so, and what was time? 23.3. Wow. You're at 15.52 right now, okay? And it gets better. Total score on your last round. 83 total score on this 79 wow so i get better with less sleep so again wow. some phone calls should be coming your way jake okay you might be an american yeah, hero yeah, yeah. could we just find this out yeah. okay guys this is pretty cool. american hero this here. is pretty cool I, you yeah. know i mean we'll see how i do it like 32 hours later today but yeah. i mean thus far this is this is promising for my career in special operations yes yeah, well yeah, yeah you just look like death that's I, all i don't know if they recruit 40 year olds but if they do i'm your guy <laughs> Sit rep, uh, 28 hours, no sleep at this point. Just racking up, racking up the miles on the body. Meanwhile, these jackasses. Sit rep. Sit rep. Sit rep, classic Top Gear. People will get the reference there. Anyway, we're out doing a PSA uh, video. Bet you didn't think you'd hear that anytime soon. Anyway, by the time I'm shooting again, uh, I'll probably be 32 to 33 hours deep. So we'll see how that goes. Nine, 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 nine. That ain't too shabby right there. That ain't too shabby at all. Okay, so let's chart some times. So, total time, four, seven, one, nine, five. Okay, so build drill progression throughout the day. 
baseline yesterday, 35 hours ago, time was 4.8, score was 52, first round was 217. At 26 hours up, the time was exactly the same, 4.8, score dropped from 52 to 44, first shot a tenth of a second slower. Last run at 35 hours up, I've gone from 4.8 to 4.78 and my best score of the day, 54 versus 52 and 44. And my fastest first shot. Science is just massively confusing on this. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense at all. Well, all that really matters is how does it stack up against the rest. So total time, 395, scores 26, first round, 196. All right, Mozambique, the progression, the times. Baseline was 432, 26 hours in. I was at 447, and just now I was at 395. Fastest time. The scores go from 28 to 24, back up to 26. So this was my mid run. My baseline was my fastest first shot at 178. This was next at 196. So honestly, fastest overall time, middle on the score. And really that's only because, I mean, the head, the head shots on the line. I mean, it's like clearly on the line, so. One. One, 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 one. Total time, 10, one, two, score, nine, first shot, two, one. All right, dot torture progression. Original time, 9.15, second time, 9.24, this time, 10.12, so call it a second slower, not a big spread. Original score was eight. Second score was six. The score was nine. So this is actually my most accurate run at only less than a second more. Seriously, I mean, if you were ranking this, you would say my third run was, was the best run. Like best hits at 0.8 of a second more than the other runs, 35 hours in, that's the winner. Ten. <sighs> well, it took forever, but I think he's smoked. There we go live with it just not fast okay three three four with a ten okay so hostage rescue progression baseline was 2.45 seconds but zero points aka totally missed uh second iteration was 2.62 time um eight points this was 3.34 on the time with a perfect catch shot at 10. so i don't really know how you would rank that but Ironically, me being fresh was my worst run. Okay, the reloads have haunted me, so. Nine. Nine. Well, I didn't hit the, this gun doesn't have any magwell, so like the reload gets a little, a little, a little tight at speed. Okay, reload progression. Baseline was 5.15. At 26 hours, I was at 5.96. Just now, I was at 4.78. So fastest time right now. Um, uh, original score was 16, then I went to 14, now I'm at 18. So who, who needs sleep? It's highly overrated. Sleep is a waste of time. This damn stove, you just can't even get it clean these days. The 409 barely works. That don't matter. Seven, nine, nine, seven. Seven, nine, nine. Look at that reverse. Ten. Nine. That went weird. Yeah, that did go weird. I had a couple that weren't even on paper. So the two important ones. So original time on this was 23.3. That said, that was totally different because I like went outside and did some, something weird. So really the second time's more indicative. That was 
15.52, this was 14.63. Scores went from 79 to 83 to 76. So not a huge spread there. So let's recap this, guys. I've been awake for now 15 minutes shy of 36 hours. I actually feel pretty decent. I know I'm tired, but the fact that shooting performance hasn't degraded that much, I think Chris would confirm this as he's over there. I think part of it, a working theory, is that because you know you're compromised, your focus elevates and you switch on. Where it's like, okay, I know I'm at a disadvantage, and so I've got to switch it on hardcore in order to make this work. I um, would agree that um, knowing that you're compromised, you kind of switch it on and focus more intently. Right. Which is why maybe performance hasn't changed drastically. I mean, I truthfully thought doing this and going this far w with no sleep, and I mean none, no 15-minute power naps, nothing. I mean, I really thought at this stage, I mean, you're just, you're just nodding and guns like, I, I mean, just full meltdown. Uh -huh. It's not even close to that. It's just not even close. A lot of my best times are on this last iteration. It's crazy. I mean, even me drinking, some of the best times are when I'm fully inebriated. Yeah, you guys may or may not see that video. We'll see. If that is confusing, don't worry. It should be confusing at this point. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of baffled by this. Um, not a particularly fun experiment to go through. I look forward to sleeping tonight, but, like, it's just bizarre. I think it kind of shows you don't need to be as intent about your sleep as you have been. Well, I'm going to still get, well, I'm going to get like 12 hours tonight. Um, so I don't know, man, you guys comment with, if you like this stuff, we can do more of these. Um, I'm very conflicted on, I don't know what I even think of the video ultimately, but um, yeah, I guess comment below and we'll see you guys next week. Mm -hmm.